the Vans, the short shorts, the oversized tee. Of course, we're out here playing with Broderick's Reach. So the Reach, Broderick's Reach, this thing feels good. Mine's a little domey. Hear that pop top on it. It feels good, honestly. I've never thrown anything from Birdie Disc Golf. This thing feels pretty solid. I brought out a couple other destroyers that we'll put alongside this one. I've heard this is the People's Destroyer, so I'm expecting it to be kind of straight, maybe slightly flippy, not too overstable. Um, I'm excited, let's get into it. You know, we should throw some warm-up shots, but we're not going to. Start off with hole 12. Just a little forehand around the corner, it's 282. Uh, I like backhand with putter, typically. But we're gonna go forehand with these today. Reach up first. It's pretty straight, that was straight. All right, now we'll compare it to this metal flake destroyer. This thing's pretty stable as I remember it. Looking pretty good. We grabbed this fun old G-Star and try that guy out with it today. I think that's what I'm about to come out on Heiser. Oh yeah, see you later. That thing's flippy. Reaches back here in circle two. I pushed a little straight, but it came out. We're in the fairway. Have a real long bit at it. The more stable metal flakes right here. Probably on the edge of circle, just outside. Good thing score doesn't matter. So far, I mean, comparing it to this one and then the G-Star, obviously they're completely different plastics. This is way more stable than that is. And the reach, it's now a little muddy and a little wet. Isn't, doesn't feel as stable, at least on that forehand, to set the first throw I've thrown with it. The plastic feels great though. Has a really cool, like, swirling in it too. You can't see how much is flat, but. Feels good, we got some headwind here. Also, I don't know how you play in these just flat vans. I feel weird. A little bit of headwind here. Hole 14, you just gotta bomb it out there. Really, if you can make it in front of the short pad over there, it's like 400 to the short pad. Uh, you just kinda wanna throw it out there. All right, we're gonna try to just throw this flat. Push it out there, see how flippy it actually is in the, I mean, the headwind's like very, very slight headwind. Oh, got some good turn. That shouldn't be in a too bad position. I think I pushed it too far to the left. Should be able to just kind of throw a hyzer in. All right, my normal destroyer that's in the bag, it's a super beat up star destroyer. Probably have to put this one on a little hyzer. Yeah, see that one's way too flippy. Also, his shoes these feel terrible. <laughs> shoe, shoe review, not a disc review anymore. G-Star, this thing is flippy. Oh, not as flippy as I thought. It's quite a bit of hyzer. That one's gonna be a little pinched off. Now, max weight Star Destroyer. I think this is more what that reach is like. It's kind of a max star. Slight flip but just like a nice controllable over stability. That was a burner. Right in front of the pad. They're good discs. Orange Star Destroyer is right there in front of the uh, short pad. Reach isn't bad. It's just kind of a severe hyzer in. I needed to push it more straight to get a good look at it. Really from here, I usually just throw like a mid or even just like a harp or toro in, but we're playing with reach today, so see if we can scoot it up there. We didn't scoot it up there, we hit a tree. Good thing about hitting early a tree though, you're not OB. Pfft. 
you can putt with it too. We're doing a whole lot of jumping around because I'm really just playing the holes that I throw either like destroyer or something faster on. Hole 18 from the short pad, it's only 360, 370. Usually I just go fairway. Um, we're gonna try destroyer, or not destroyer, you can try the reach and the destroyer. Also, if you're out at Creekside in the next like day or two here in uh, Farmington, you should try to find my PA3. It's like a beat up teal one, no name on it, let your boy know. If you're asking how I lost the putting putter, roll the clip. Good layup. Reach, you just kind of throw it flat, let it turn, come out. Ah, it's a look. It's not bad, it's a little deep. That's why you go a little slower. All right, going this destroyer now. It took some damage the other day, but this one's actually in the bag, so. We'll see what it does. I think this one's a little bit more hyzer. Yeah. Oh, that got a weird wind bounce and turned over. That's going to be my whole 11's basket. Wow. Okay. I think it's more comparable to just a normal star destroyer. It feels great, though. Birdie and Broderick did a really good job with that disc. more direct line that's also the problem with throwing a faster disc other star destroyer that's a little bit more flippy was like probably 15 feet behind the basket there this one's at like 20 25 well Broderick they birdie they birdie had some trouble getting to the other destroyer. Push this back here, circle's edge again. It also birdies. Oh! I wish the camera would have been set up better for that. That was like mean hyzer around. You know the drill with hole one, it's 704 feet. It's actually gonna be our last hole. We started on hole 12, kind of jumped around. These look very similar. I think the reach may be a little bit more blunt than like this destroyer specifically. But other than that, they're very similar. I like this. It's honestly a great, it's a great disc. It feels really nice. It feels like a destroyer, flies like a destroyer, flies like a flippy destroyer. I don't know if it's actually gonna make the bag, but I do see a spot for this for a lot of people. This thing's nice. All right, I gave it pretty much everything. Down there pretty far. Yeah, back to back, that thing does feel a little less, like a little less sharp in the hand. But you know, inconsistency, Inconsistencies are with Innova. I think that one's slightly more Anheuser, but they're gonna be down there, basically the same spot. So I don't have my rangefinder, but you're at 400. The reach, which is right here. Come on, you disc. 428, and then destroyer. That's at like 432, 433. So the reach goes pretty far. I like it. Honestly, I probably just hit that one a little bit better because, you know, inconsistencies of an AM. But support Broderick. This thing's sick. Support Birdie. I know they're a small company too. Pick one up before they're gone. Even if you don't like it, like it's a cool little piece of history. Until next time, we'll see you later.